Hello and good evening everyone. I hope you had a great day. Oh. Wait, is the music still too loud? It seems still too loud. But it's way too loud. Okay, hey Bamnos. How's it going? Oh, I should switch. I, su I should actually switch scenes. Um, hello. Okay, where are we? Um, uh, where did we? Where did we stop yesterday? Work sucks, but at least the roof over the head. Yeah, that's that's completely understandable. Uh, I I'm with you, right? So for me, it's basically the same. Um. Well, I'm kind of fine, so not too pa too bad. Um. I missed the job interview today because I had to work, <laughs> which is uh, not optimal. Let's let's call it that. But I have uh, I was able to re uh, reschedule, and oh, it's fine. Okay, let's go to the server. Yeah, and today I wanna implement. The remaining functions uh, for the database server, and when I'm done, we might start a small side project because everybody needs side projects. Wait. Okay, that's that was the key. Um. Yeah, so ba basically, uh, let me just uh, fix something, hopefully. Basically, a friend of mine, Arctic Space Fox, uh, has has a project where um, you can solve crypto challenges and reverse engineering challenges. Uh, and I was thinking about doing a few challenges for him, uh, designing a few, and there are a few things I want to do. The first is procedural generation, so basically doing the same challenge but with different values. And the other one is reverse engineering but with binaries or bytecode from different, from different platforms. Thank you for the gifted subs. Yeah, no problem, man. It's, uh, supports the people, uh, supports the streamer more than the viewer, right? So that that's that's the main thing I do. Uh, the main reason I do it, uh, with the added benefit that more people can use the cool emotes that Spacefox does, which is always a big plus. Let's go to the server again. Huh. So if I open Vim inside of Tmux, it slows down. And I have no idea why. Okay, so... Do we have get points, set points, and add points? Get points... Add points. Oops. Okay, finally. Um. Set 
set points now. Those are set points as well. And let's do add points. Okay, so the basic idea was that you can get points, set points. That's the, the obvious thing. But most services should probably only uh, ever call add points with the points they want to add. So that if two services at the same time try to add points to, uh, to a viewer, it shouldn't matter... Uh, it shouldn't actually matter... Uh, which came first, right? Well, it does matter though. What if he wants to? S what if multiple try to act, uh, get points uh, or subtract points, and he doesn't have enough? Okay, I think we can do that in the status, probably, and the board if it doesn't have enough points. I also don't know if add points is the correct name, but whatever. So... Okay, that's get points request, get points response, same for set, and add. Okay, let's stop printing what we get. What's the get user request? Thus, oh, that's the wrong thing. GRPC, come on, GRPC, um, optional. I think there is no optional field. I guess it's basically an error to... to get user as well. For this we'll check our diesel documentation again. Check how that worked. Establish connections, filter. Okay, so it's basically that. We have a connection. 
that. Get the DSL inside. When it's not called diesel demo. It should be called data. Is it called data server now? No. Why not though? Are you self? Okay, better. Um, so it's not posts. It's is it users? It is users. Okay. Get the string. Some kind of error, probably. So, users filter uh, name equals. And we need one of those. Hey, Erga. How's it going? Hi today. Um, guess I shall get some code done. Yeah, getting code done is always a good idea. After the day we've just meetings. Yeah, I. That's. What? Okay, um, if we have at least one user, meetings with 8 a.m. and 4.30 p.m. Yeah, meetings suck. That's, that's a given. What if I only want to get one? Meetings can be nice but exhausting. I, I, I do get that meetings are necessary. Sometimes. At least I solved my Skype troubles as of late. Ooh, what Skype troubles did you have? Just taking five plus minutes per try to connect. Ooh. That's not good. Okay, what is the query result? Can I use a query result for my library? Sky plus Linux is fun to begin with. Yeah, that's that's true. So I'm, I have to use um, Microsoft Teams.
can't even use this guy for a plant. Oh, why not? You aren't legally allowed to use teams. Okay. That's strange. I mean, not really. I work for the government. Oh, okay, okay, that's... Then it's not strange. Let's go with any error whatsoever. Um, box. Then error. We use like for our IT and Google chat for the rest of the company. Oh. Uh, can I have an import action? No? Okay. We aren't really allowed to use non self hosted things that would be on American servers. Yeah, that's, that's understandable though, because everything that, that traverses American, uh, uh, what's it called? Borders, uh, is basically recorded by, by the NSA. So... Well, even if it's hosted in Sweden by say, Microsoft or Amazon, we can't use it because of American laws. Yeah, the, the, the thing is, uh, if you if you have an email uh, on on Gmail, for instance, it might uh, it might move over state borders before you actually sending it, because Google moves data between their uh, their data centers, and every time it does, the NSA takes a snapshot. Okay, how do I load exactly one thing? Hey, Castras. But even if they could guarantee uh, the data never leaving Sweden, but that it wouldn't work. Yeah, that's 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 true. First or not? What's first or not found? Oh, okay. So instead of load, I could do get result. Um, just return that. Back, back to the query result. Okay. See so you baking code whilst I bake ham and cheese rolls. Ooh, that sounds nice. If you if you weren't so far away, uh, <laughs> I would tell you to send me one uh, to try. So let's try to get user thing. Let request equal I would send you a badge. Yeah, but they, they would probably spoil in the meantime, which isn't good. Oh, let's do that up here as well. Move that closer. <laughs> if 
By the way, uh, Castros, how's your journey uh, coming along? Does everything work the way you like it? Um, they're best fresh. Yeah, if uh, once Anya coin is is done and we have a lunch party, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna come and uh, gonna visit you after COVID hopefully, and you can you can let me try. Um. Products are good. <laughs> good thing. <laughs> that would be really cool though. Get user response. Wait, that's all? Just the name? Why am I recording a macro? Hmm. Yeah, and I also I also really really need to start um, reading up uh, or start start reading again and catch up with the books I, I have to read because more and more people want me to teach them programming. <laughs> Can't I just unread? Don't I do basically the same here? Oh. Hey, Phil. How was your day? Let's do the very result user as well. I say that the peeps I have met found via any your stream are the kind of people I would sit down with a beer to. Uh, I completely agree. Not only Anya's stream, but also Togglebit and Brook Circa. So, so basically, uh, could be worse. Uh, that does that doesn't sound too good, but. At least it's not too bad. <laughs> One of the coding students to be. Um, I missed the job interview today because of reasons. No, uh, I, I had to work and, and missed the interview by, by 15 minutes and had to risk, uh, reschedule. Which is not ideal, but it is what it is, so whatever. Yeah. Other than that, I had an okay day. Um... What kind of position are you interviewing for? Um, software engineer. So basically, uh, Rust. N not Rust. Uh, the. The position today was a uh, go backend, go backend. My mic is mostly on the left channel. Um, uh, can be, but shouldn't. I wait. No, it should it should be configured correctly. Uh, it seems. Okay, wait. Hello, I replugged it, but it still doesn't work. Um.
maybe noise suppression? Hello? Test, 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 test. Okay, so it does sound the same. I, I see it. I see that, that one channel is, is higher than the other. But I have no idea why. Yeah, go go is in interesting, right? I mean, it's a small difference, so it's definitely possible that that some people might not hear it and some do. No, no, it's it's not that big of a difference uh, according to my levels, right? So, all I remember from the Goku I've seen is it is saying little everywhere. Yeah, that's true. That is that is too true. Also, error handling is kind of eh. Could not. Find user. Let's make it could not here as well. Except the missing exceptions. Yeah, go go needs generics, right? So if if go gets generics, I I I think it's it's a, a reasonably okay language. Yeah. I think in Go Go is basically C with garbage collection. So you do like like in C you do something. Okay, you do operation one, right? Hides on the pillow to not hear about generics. And you basically do uh res equals well they call call it error and then you do if error not the equal uh, equals no not equals nil you do something with the error blah blah and clean up and exit right so you have if error nil everywhere in, in your code which is it's not the worst But yeah, but it has it has a defer keyword, which is pretty cool. So wait, uh, not wait. Is it schema? While tables appear in the same query, channel points and users, okay. Uh, models, that's the thing I'm searching. I'm gonna need to check out how to query those. Go has some pretty cool libraries for REST services databases. Yeah, Go Go has an insane amount of libraries. So there is um, Go for chess, if it's still around, which can basically compile Go to JavaScript. And then there is uh, Otto. Which is basically a JavaScript uh, virtual machine written in Go. And you can use go for js to compile Otto to JavaScript and run a JavaScript virtual machine inside of a JavaScript virtual machine. How about C-Sharp? Uh, I, I think C-Sharp is 
fine, right? It's not a, it's a pretty boring thing actually, but not in a bad way. Not, not the Java kind of boring. Where um, oh, I missed this. I missed stretching. I missed a stretch call. Let's do that. Um. So not not in the same kind that Java is boring because uh, every time I see Java code, I wanna wanna go to sleep uh, and not look at it anymore. So I take it you won't be interviewing for such a position. Um, currently, I'm looking um, I'm looking for something interesting, and I'm looking for something open source as as good as possible. Open source isn't a hard requirement, but if it's not open source, at least it should be something interesting. Right, uh, I wanna, I wanna move forward career-wise, not not move uh, at the same level or even backwards. And stuff like go or rust as as a as a job would be really really cool. We need some typing. Let's do some typing. Um, Let's just open the terminal in here. Does that work? It's gonna go so horribly wrong. Um, eh. Okay, so the colors won't work. Which is... Ah, no. I can't... I, I don't want you to look at this without colors. So... Polybot. I pressed the wrong thing again. Stable connection data server create user. What? Eh, 50 words, 89. I'm happy. <laughs> wow. Uh, what a word. Um, let me just open my request thingy. Uh, Braster Hall? I don't know. <laughs> I have really no idea how to pronounce that. Uh, is, is it even a P? It's a, it seems like a P, but it probably isn't. Braster Hall? Braster Hall? Something like that? Never actually thought of getting a job in anything else besides C -sharp. Maybe you should see what would be available in different languages for me. Um... Yeah, like I said, I don't mind C sharp, and I probably would get a job uh, if it's uh, if I don't find anything else. Um, I would probably do every language except uh, maybe even Java, right? I won't go for anything. T H. Okay. So, Traster Hall? I don't know. Um, yeah, so so I, I won't do something like PHP, because I don't hate myself. Uh, <laughs> which is to say that every PHP dev hates himself or herself, uh, but I really can't stand that language, right? I would do... I would JavaScript, I would do... Uh, or TypeScript, more like is more likely. Emphasis on the two L's and uh, okay. I mean, may, may, maybe we do. We should do something where I teach you uh, programming stuff, and you teach me your language. Um, how's it going? Um. I'm kind of scared to start implementing this, 
because I have no idea what to do. But that also means learning, and learning is good, so yeah. It's the name of the farm I'm from in Iceland. Ooh, nice! Yeah, so basically adding a user and getting a user already works. Wait. Client... Let's let's rename that. Cargo That's add user now. Move. Oh my bot is running. Thanks for reminding me. Um So move data server source client to data server source and user By the way, uh search um uh, I'm thinking about implementing an emulator. But not a Game Boy emulator. I'm thinking about doing the, the chip 8. <laughs> and uh, because a friend of mine... Um, a friend of mine uh, works on a platform where you can do hacking challenges. So you can, for instance, have... Um, yeah, some ra random crypto challenges and also reverse engineering stuff. And I'm thinking about doing some reverse engineering challenge... Not doing. Designing some reverse engineering challenges with either the chip 8 uh, or with, with Game Boy ROMs. So instead of doing... Uh, just mute my phone. Instead of just doing the, the, the same thing that everybody does and reverse binaries, reverse elf binaries, or reverse uh, PE executables. Um, having something actually involved where you need to read documentation and reverse that, which could be a cool uh, challenge. Okay, guides. Can I? Sounds good. Sounds awesome. Well, uh, uh, I'm I'm glad you like the idea because it's gonna be done, done on stream. So <laughs> wouldn't be wouldn't be very cool if if you guys didn't like it. Codeslinger website has a chip eight section. If I recall correctly, okay. Ooh, nice. I'm definitely gonna check that out. I'm also not sure if I if I should read the guide first or do a deep dive. Because we um for instance Uh, just need to check out what it's called. We gave it some random name, I think. Wait, was that was that on Windows still? Maximum learning, no guides. Maximum speed guides. Yeah, that's true. Okay, the. Data, um, uh, 
Project Rust. Let's see. I have too, way too many projects. I think I think that still resides on my Windows platform, my Windows installation. Okay, so we basically did a, a brain brain floor implementation on stream, and we. The only thing we used basically was uh, Wikipedia for uh, for the definitions. No guides, possibly learning the wrong things. Yeah, that's true too. Yeah, so th there is the saying, uh, "Practice makes perfect," which kind of isn't true because only only uh, perfect practice makes perfect. So if you just practice the wrong thing, you're gonna learn the wrong things. Where, where is, where is the stupid interpreter? I'm confused. Rust roll lag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm um, also a thing we started. Uh, and I need to continue some someday. Uh, we started designing a magic system for use in a game. So um, that's the reason I have the roguelike stuff because I think the thing we're designing is best used in, in something like a roguelike. The less you read beforehand, the more you have to figure out. Hey, Fluffy. Got a lecture, we'll see you later. Yeah, have fun with your lecture. But yeah, you can completely get lost if you don't read anything. It's it's kind of a bit of both, right? So if you just uh, copy and pasting stuff, you're not gonna learn anything. So you need to do the stuff yourself, but it's good to have a guide for the basic concepts to guide you towards the, the correct solution, right? Here it is. T R B F. Okay. Let's copy. Agreed. A few weeks ago, I found a book. I searched for months. Ooh, nice. What's the book called? Yeah, so that's that's basically our brain blob interpreter without looking up how to write a brain blob interpreter. It's it's insanely simple. So if you know basic concepts of, of how stuff should work, if you know what a what an instruction pointer and a data pointer is, um you can implement brain blob yourself. And it's probably not the most efficient, but it does work, so... Object design style guides. Now make it fast. <laughs> nope. <laughs> it's in Rust, it's already fast. What are you talking about? You want to, but you want to say that Rust code isn't fast? Ugh, that's object oriented stuff. Ugh. Now make it slower. Well I can I can definitely do that. Wait, um my loop. Okay, I'm, I made it slow now. 
Where's my cookie? What do you do? You, but you aren't allowed to sleep, Fred. That's cheating. No, I'm not gonna write a, a stupid loop. Um. From the book's description, pro quality oh god. <laughs> Mr. Otto, I think we need to have a serious conversation. Yeah. So I, I I think I already said it a few times. If if you just want to get get a job, learning object orientation is um in my opinion still okay. If you're trying to get better, drop object orientation. It doesn't help you, right? The worst thing about OOP is that with small examples, you feel like it would help you, but in reality, it doesn't. So, let's call this search user. So now let's add data server source. Yes, so someone noticed that. Uh, it. So the the thing is, I don't want to hate too much on object orientation. There are already too, uh, enough people who do that. I think it's very important to know OOP patterns. Is it though? I mean, some of them are important, but the most important ones aren't specifically OOP patterns. Just needed to make my volume a bit, uh, make the music a bit quieter for me. Um, so there, there are certain things which which are kind of cool uh, until you learn stuff like functional patterns where you just pass a, a function and be done. For me, patterns seem logical in the optimal structured examples, but are hard in reality. Yeah, the, the thing is, you need to understand the pattern and you need to understand what the pattern is used for. Other, otherwise, uh, the whole pattern becomes useless. I mean, not useless, but the, the, the chance that you abuse it instead of use it correctly is way higher. Uh, add user. Let's see, yoink that. Uh, okay, yeah, it's not add user. It's get user now. Okay. The biggest problem I think with, with object orientation is the whole uh, inheritance nonsense that you learn, which it seem it seems so nice and so clear uh, when you first learn about it. But after a while, uh, when you when you need to debug through uh, six files just because you don't know in in which uh, inherited in which inherited class the bug is in, it kind of just falls short. But I I I, I think. Let let let's let's say it this way. In the in the grand scheme of things, it it's probably still helpful to know what object oriented programming is, what it should be, um, some of the patterns and and why it fails. Because you you're gonna 
you're gonna see object-oriented code in the wild. That's that's just going to happen. So P polybot data server data server that will run not client but server. Add user. Hey Togglebit. What's cooking? Uh still the data server. The nice aspect of op is poly polymorphism. Yeah, but you can have polymorphism without object orientation. What is happening? Uh... Okay. Hey, Reed Rainer. So you, for for instance, in Rust you can have polymorphism, um, but you don't have classes and you don't have inheritance. Polymorphism is is not unique to to object orientation, right? And and most of the times, it's even better to just use something like composition, and uh, not polymorphism, uh, not inheritance based, po not inheritance based poly polymorphism. That's the thing. How's my evening? Um, well. I want my server to run, but it somehow doesn't. Other than that, pretty, pretty fine. Serves only cause problem and get hacked when they run. Best not to have any servers. Yeah, it's it's my it's my own server. It should be fine. So could not connect to server. I mean, you are the server. Oh. Oh. I need to start Postgres. That actually makes sense. You can connect the database. Wow. Okay, now, now, now we should be able to. Why? You holy bot. Oh, it's not Q. Diesel migration. Diesel setup. I had at least some abstract questions answered. I failed to find the solution online. I mean, if, if you have any questions, feel free to ask here as well. Uh... Okay, quit. 
Can we can we run it now? Just F. Okay, that worked. That didn't work. Uh, I am hardliner. That worked as well. I'm gonna run the timing game soon. Get user. Is it not called get user? Cargo. Search user. Oh, and I think I'm missing it to lower. Could not create user while doing search user. What? What is object disoriented programming? Okay, let's start with that first. Um. As soon as toggle pick joins, I, I completely use uh completely lose the ability to type properly. Thirty words, ninety five percent. Time to see how horrible my coach will work. <laughs> if it works, it can't be that horrible, right? <laughs> I'm kidding. It can, absolutely can. Um. How do I explain object disoriented programming? Object disoriented programming is, is basically the same as object oriented programming, but uh, every time you do something, you stand up and spin around a few times until you get dizzy, and then you start designing your objects. That's object disoriented programming. Sounds like my normal code. Yeah, it also sounds like the code that, that previous co-workers of mine uh, wrote. So let's go to the server. Let's go to get user. Let's go to get user. And lowercase the username. I mean, I also wrote some pretty disorienting code. Okay, whatever. Uh... So now I should be able to rebuild that. And do a search, yes. If I search for toggle bit, he shouldn't be here. Okay, we should kind of fix that though. My neck is killing me, see you all tomorrow. Yeah, have a good one. Um, <laughs> you should you should be here, but you should be in the database. I, I would be I would be amazed if you somehow got into my local database that I just set up. That I just started clean, right? Without adding you. I have my ways. It's the way of the seal, right? Um Do I even need get user? I, f I feel like the whole API is completely stupid. I'm part of the worldly fixtures. <laughs> I 
Okay, add user is fine. Why do I need get user though? Do I even need add user? Can't I just use set points? And set points will add the user if it isn't here. Now my API OCD is kicking in and I want a good API instead of just just continuing with what I have and fix it later on. Um, the thing is, I, I don't actually need to model... Time for the first rewrite. Yeah, let's rewrite it in SIG, okay? I'm done with Rust. No, I'm kidding. Uh... I am obviously kidding. We're not gonna rewrite it in Seek. Uh, there is enough things to do. Rust is still 2021. Wait, isn't it still 2021? I mean, that might be the joke. Might be the joke I'm missing here. But I'm not written in Rust, so I'm allowed to miss jokes. The, the thing is... That is the joke, okay. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I didn't quite hear uh, the choking voice through, through chat. I'm sorry. The, f the thing is, I shouldn't design the interface in a way that's too primitive, right? I don't want to do everything from the client side. So probably don't need, don't want those at all. I mean, the set points is needed for uh, administrate. Uh, for uh, administrate, for admins, I can talk. Um, administrative purposes. So I want to be able to set points. I want. I need to be able to get points, and I need to be able to add points at certain points in time. Can't I just... The question is, do I need those two functions? I, I think I don't. I think that should be ha that should happen automatically. Should, I think that should happen automatically if I do one of those three. Right? Because it, do it doesn't actually need to match up with with what is called in the database. And I don't want every service to, to always check if there is a user uh, present or not. It needs to happen automatically, I think. So everything I did is until now is basically useless. Okay. Um, And I still need to find out how to find uh, how to send optional stuff. Oh, wait, what kind of errors can I send? It's 
let's get all of those oops why are you complaining oh because it doesn't return anything um okay so status can be Cancelled unknown invalid argument. Oh, 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 code. That seems like exactly the thing I want. Okay. So this is also completely useless. Huh. Okay, let's let's start. Let's start at the top. Work our way down. First, we're gonna get the actual request, which should contain get points request, streamer name and viewer name. Okay. So if or whatever. I get that as well. Let's start with the streamer name and delete. Come on. Data server data server create user let's call that connection Con, con, streamer name, Okay, let's see um yeah one of those is
No. No, 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 no. Uh, let's print it out. Also, I know that this is ugly. Let's change that to a match. Okay. If it's okay and the user will return. Okay, and the user. Oh, talk a bit. Uh, while you're here. I have a problem with Tmux and I think you might be able to help me with that. Um, if I open NeoVim inside of Tmux, it starts to get slower. Which is kind of strange. Uh, I think new one. So let's see. I'm I'm gonna open Tmux. Okay. I'm going into new one. I'm opening my server. Right. Go somewhere. Press O. That's fine. I'm pressing Escape. It takes a while. Right, so every time I, I go to insert and press escape, it takes a while. Right? If I exit out of Tmux and go into server and I do the same thing, okay, press O, press escape and it's instant. Uh, my Tmux config looks like this. Which is basically just copy and paste it from somewhere else. I mean, I can just comment out everything and try it again. Oh. So I... Yeah, no problem. You have a Vim responsiveness. <laughs> uh, comment, nice. Okay, that's actually wrong because I need to edit it here. Otherwise, it won't be set properly in my dot files. Okay, so let's let's Tmax again. Let's V again. Ooh, ooh, such snappy. Many wow, nice. Okay, the load time right here is normal. That's you see, that's really cool.
This seems like it could be done with a flat map. Yeah, uh, thanks, Togobit. That's uh, exactly what I was was searching for. So now I can finally Tmux <laughs> and can get my Tmux workflow going. Tmux, yeah. So. Actually, let's let's not care about that as well. For now, I should be able to do something like status. Okay, now Pep Nine gets in the way sometimes. Um. No. Yeah, that's that seems about right. Uh, thanks, autocomplete. Tunnel. Now you can get the T-Bug swarm. Oh, that's the thing you have, right? Um. Yeah, so I I don't mind having it having it at, at the bottom, because all my other other status lines are also at the bottom. So can can we disable that somehow? The status line. I'm gonna leave that in here just so I can look at it. And do set option. Set option or just set? Okay, so what's what's the difference? Because those are all set and this is set option. Yeah, I, I wanted to open the diary. Let's try it. Okay, so it's gone. But it's still here. Oh, um, my prefix key is still the control B, the original. I know people tell me to to use control A because that's what they're used to. But control A is old screen. Yeah, I wanted to do control M, but then we had last uh, the, the thing the problem with uh we had last time uh, where control M is basically enter, and I couldn't do anything anymore. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of a shame. K. 
Okay, so control B U, no, control B Y, no, control B X. Yes, that's the thing I'm searching for. I did that in my Vim config and wondered why it wasn't working. Yeah, I, I had it in my in my Tmax config and wondered why I couldn't pre uh, press enter on exit. Because enter was basically my prefix key now. <laughs> so I still I still think something on the right hand side would be would be nice. Because then I could press control plus right hand side and then just press whatever. Yeah. Well, let's see. I'm 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 going to rebind a few things probably anyway. So Let's fix up the server. Um Yeah, that's gone too. Uh, yeah, no problem. Have fun. So let's make it. Let's actually make a function for that. Um, get. result user I should try to go to bed earlier today as well Okay, so we need the connection. Con, which is going to be an ampersand PG connection. And we don't need the ampersands anymore. That's just name now. Seems kind of right. Why are you complaining? Cannot find type user. Um, so use database server. No, it's not database server. It's just data server. Models. Okay, now we get the user in here. It's fine. Now we can do that once for the streamer. Get or add user. Let's 
do the same for the viewer. Mm, the underscore no. CT underscore yes. View name. So now we have a streamer and the viewer. Let's do. make a custom function for that data server get points it's a streamer right well let's pass the whole thing right get the streamer get the viewer Then figure out how how to do the error. Um, you can get points. Very result. Wasn't it ch named channel points? I think it was something like channel points. So con is gonna be a PG connection. Streamer is gonna be a user. That's gonna be user as well. It's not channel points. Oh, well, it is channel points. It is channel points. Um, new channel point should get points as well. Okay, so we have no return. Oh, I actually got a token back in the end. Nice! Very nice. Um, hey, Primatron! How's it going? How was your stream? I, I sadly missed the, the last part. Grand, nice. I mean, I think everyone already should know him, but if you don't, did I miss? No, I did not miss. Well, I feel like I understand why you want both. Um, what do you mean with both? My seal eyes starting to slowly take form somehow. Nice. Quick fix and location. Oh. Okay, why? Why is that? Is it channel points? 
channel points. I mean, I, I use none of those because I'm a, a Wimp lab, but <laughs> quick, quick fix for global things, location for local things. Oh, that's cool. So I, I basically just use my buffers and uh, it's hard to explain via text. Yeah, that's understandable. Uh, I have a binding for my quick fix list. Um, and I, oh, I use it for search. So user. That's a thing where I use the quick fix list. But the location thing, uh, I think I don't use at all. Yeah, so... Wait. Channel points, filter... Um... Streamer ID? Equals probably without the percent streamer dot id yeah so, so like i said I'm, I'm still basically a vim newbie but one one step at a time it it gets better What? Trade bound I32 from SQL. Now that it's not satisfied for the following implementations of found. That, that it feels somehow wrong. Also, I probably need another filter, but. Do I need an M percent? Does it need to be a reference? Wouldn't make any sense. Let's see if there is a conversion miss missing. No. I probably shouldn't use an ORM at all. I just type the SQL. This way I would <laughs> I would actually know what to do. But using diesel seems cool. Yeah, I I'm normally not a big fan of ORMs, but I wanted to give uh give diesel a chance because of all the compile time stuff it does so it seems like a reasonable choice but maybe i'm just switching to sql x let's see let's see how stuff goes if if i can't get it to work the way i, I like it to i'm just gonna switch Do I need another... Is it the wrong type? Okay, what's going on with the schema? Which is an integer. Okay. It should be an i32. So it should actually work. Why why won't you work? Uh
let's get it in full um two redundant requirements hidden require pixel of the requirements of carryable integer integer nullable integer for channel points wait up that was the wrong up that's the right up um Fault zero is that valid? Diesel migration we do. Okay, it seems valid. Let's build again. Was that the problem? Why can't I go to definition? Oh. CUC is hating me again. That's also a thing I need to switch. CUC to uh, the integrated uh, language server. So the viewer ID needs to be the viewer ID. Double format. So getting points should not be possible. completely and return status uh, say was not found No, 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 that's that's not true. Uh, it's, it seems wrong. So the wording seems wrong, but it's more correct than the, the other thing. Um. Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So let's do left points equal that. And we'll return with an okay. Spawns new. Um, 
get points response. There's a key for that. And to get points response, go to has just the points, okay. Well, uh, that again. Is it because it was already open? No. I broke I broke my knee of him again somehow. So points is points to points. Um Come on. Channel points. Also seems like badly named. That should probably be something like user data instead of channel points. And the user data should just have points. Right? I mean, I'm not a master at SQL, but that should probably just be user. No, that's not user data. Oh, it is user data. It absolutely is user data. So... That's, that's the correct order. Channel points... Is it not? Is it the other way around? It is the other way around. So that's user data now. So, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Diesel migration video. That's changed as well. That's user data now. Wait, can't I just rename this to user data? Okay, rename this to new user data. Pressing the wrong thing again. New user data. User data.
Oh, okay, so it just just took him a while. Um. So that's still fine. That should be user data now. Let's also let's rename that user data. User data not found. I think tomorrow we'll start with the whole emulation thing uh, for a day or two. Experiment with that. To get a small break from all the database stuff. Okay, yeah, let's, let's restart Vim because I think I broke it earlier. What is going on? Uh, a good tumble. Everything is here. Okay, where, where did that come from? Rust, Sonic. Tutorials, Hello World. Okay, I did that. Yeah, it's just Sonic. Did I change something I shouldn't change? Wait, those are all the same. Okay, so see. Let's restart. Seems better now. Um, okay, so we already have get points done. Now let's get the rest. Um, It should actually add the user data if it's not present. Let's let's make the create user data. Use 
data. This is basically the same. Yoink that. Okay, so new user data, and we have the streamer ID. Streamer ID, we have the viewer ID, and you have points. Um, I think everyone should start out with zero points. Oh, what? Oh. Actually imported. Um... Use a data table values. Use a data. So what's the difference? Oh, schema users. So without the DSL part. Okay, that makes sense. Kind of. Get or add user data. Wait, we started with the streamer, right? Yeah, streamer then then viewer. So streamer will be a user, then we'll have a viewer, which will be a user. This will be user data. Okay, that's done. Um, get user data. Oh, thanks for not helping me. Um, connection streamer viewer. Let's use the data now. Let's also use the data. Let's also use data. Should probably replace the stuff broken with something. <laughs> Could not get or add user. User data. Should be fine for now. So We should be able to use get or add user data with con con streamer 
Oops, three. Where's my hand? Uh, streamer and viewer. Okay, that's also wrong that you could get. Wait, no. Oh, and obviously write code in the right function. So what does set points response want? Nothing. Let's get rid of these. Mm, let's move source add user to source client again. No, not client. Get points. Cargo tumble. That's gone. That's get points now. Let's get points too. Okay. Points request. So I think it's streamer name and viewer name. Obviously, I am hardliner right now. And let's take toggle bits as a viewer. And we should get that toggle bit has zero points. Yeah. Now, if you do it again, still zero points. Nice. Um, let's connect. To uh, polybot, um, select like a rough is in Debian to all to get my theme far from HPC. <laughs> okay, I mean I have Rofi too. That that's basically all because I don't need anything else. I think Rofi is pretty, pretty decent. Okay, so like, select star from users. Oh, there is a from missing. Hey, okay, we have two users. It's good. Uh, from user data. We have... Fogglebit has at I am hardliner stream zero points. Cool. So basically we can get points which automatically inserts them. Now we need to do 
What's next? Set points or add points? I think it's pretty modern on my PC and hope I could copy it on my notebook. So your notebook is uh wait. Which which one is Stevie and which one is Arch? What server shut down? YCM restart server, notebook is Debian. Okay. What's a Y What? YCMD? Let's uh go to my init win. Take uh what's it called? Tab nine. And if we move that for now. Notebook is Debian, okay. Uh, and can't you... I mean, I know that's a stupid suggestion, but would it be possible to in just install Arch on your notebook as well? Check something out. Um, Rust Diesel Brands Action. I actually thought about that, but need to get my USB to Ethernet adapter back from a friend first. Okay, for the installation, for downloading everything, or. Uh... So that's that's how you do transactions. Does I get Wi-Fi to work without network? I mean, couldn't you try a live CD first to see if that works? Theoretically, that would be smart. Okay, well then, then just don't don't do it. We don't do smart things here. <laughs> data server, okay. data server, set points. What is smart? Um, request dot points. Yeah, I don't know either. That's a, yeah, that's that's the hard disk thing. Now I remember. Uh, user data. Okay.
superb um, set points. She takes a connection. Takes a streamer. It's not just for each uh, hard disk still. Isn't it? I thought it was only hard drive thing. Uh, points I32. And it will return a query result of nothing. Big nothingness. Um, That's the tran transaction thing. It's in other drives too. Oh yes, yeah, that's true. It should be in solid state drives as well. But I don't think it has the same significance in in uh, sort of the state drives. So let user data is Use data. Does that work? Yeah, there, there is a semicolon here. Actually, I only care about if that's not working. So if I don't have user data, I'm gonna create user data, create user data will Make a separate function. Wait, why? Why do I even have? Shouldn't shouldn't I just do it in line, like this? Yes. If nothing. Oh, that was too much. Still one one layer too much. Um, two. Needs to go. EMMC and SSDs. E what's what's EMMC again? Um, it 
Okay, let's let's make the compiler happy. Compiler isn't happy. Trace of macro call? What are you talking about? Oh, that makes sense. Okay, so missing an else clause. No, you're not. Um, it's expected unit type, but it is the unit type. That should that should just be points. Um okay, let's do an else. So many complaints. Okay. In all other cases, we'll do check out that thing again uh, where is the diesel getting started I think there is an update function somehow uh, somewhere let's insert into He said that's the update thing. Update. It's not post, it's user data. Streamer ID. Which should return no change in braces. Come. Okay. Hmm. 
What are you complaining about? Oh. Too many... Too many turbo fishes. work still complaining as well as macro call how functions a point there is a macro call okay C CUC is going crazy again um to be streamer.id and viewer.id otherwise it can't find the right things let's see what compiling tells us um Oops. Why should it be a member of a trade though? That's gone now. Let's build again. Let's see why it's complaining. Um Because I commented out in in the in the proto file. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. Um. We should be able to set points. Nice. Um, let's 
So additionally to get points, we'll make a set points. Uh, fire a uh, binary source set points RS. Um, I will take everything from get points. Do a set point regress request. So that's points now. Um, its points to some random number and panic invalid digit the points should say 192 okay we can set points and get points nice now let's do the last one as well uh, which is gonna be basically the same thing but for add points. also stupid name somehow but whatever so that stays the same we just set it to the points if um if the user isn't here Down okay and some. Have I missed something? S 
that. Okay. That's the equal statement. Clearly why unwrap is the best. Oh. <laughs> yeah, unwrap everywhere. Right? Because why not? Let's change set. Also, don't don't unwrap everywhere, right? That's not a good advice, actually. Um, okay, now we should actually match here instead. Um, this would be the error case. If we wrap it, we gotta unwrap it. Yeah, that's true. I, I, I totally agree. <laughs> so that's too much. That's the wrong position. Well, let's put match statements everywhere. I mean, how else are you going to do it? Um, oh, come on, hands. Press the thing I want. Okay, so delete. Let's put prices. Do a little bit of auto format. Okay, let's not do a little bit of auto format. Okay, so if we have user data. Um, that's totally the wrong phrase kind. If we have user data, do this. Oh, I'm missing a brace. At least we can auto format now. Good. Um, so user data points plus additional points. Let's just call it data. Okay, that works. There's snow outside. Is it Christmas again? What is happening? How dare it appear again? Yeah. It was I was finally getting ready for summer. No. So Oh. Wait, 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 wait. We should get a user out of that. A uh, user data. Data is that. So we should be able to do data points, right? And return an I32 here. It was nice and warm at like 10, 12 degree. Then we go back to snow. Yeah, I'm. I'm already having my window open. Uh, basically the whole day. So 
I mean, I'm also in Austria, so I don't know how far away from you that is. Source uh, points to keep window open all day since I needed to be on cam all day during meetings. Um, I sometimes close the window. Um, for meetings because in in Vienna it's kind of loud out uh, outside. Let's add now. Didn't talk that much. Yeah, I don't get the choice, sadly. So. Okay, so now that's done as well. Means we should be able to run the server. Do add points now. And we should be at 200 points after that. Yeah. Add 8 again. A. Subtract 8. Cool. So, the data server is basically... Uh, the first iteration is done right now, which is good. So, to wrap up... I actually didn't think we would finish this today. Um, holy. Everything changed. Okay, so I'm gonna do something illegal here and get a, a graphical merge tool up. I know, I know. But it helps with multi line. Uh, git commit commit messages so finish first iteration of data server um do i have to do's no Oh, docs, that, that's the thing, that's where I... Okay. Basically did that. now we finished the first iteration of the data server um, we removed we removed uh, add get user And we implemented get set and add points. I think that should be it. Okay. Let's push that. Okay, we're done. Okay, still nobody streaming Rust. Or I, f I think Twitch search is actually broken. Because I should at least find myself. 
I should investigate that. Um, in the meantime, there's always trusty good old beam stream we can use. Kyoto needs love. Filter for rust. Okay, it's, it seems like it's gonna be emulator programming again. Because I also need to learn that for uh, the next few days. Let's just start the read. And switch scenes. Okay, guys. Uh, thanks, everyone, for watching. It was a, a really nice stream. Uh, we, get, we did get much done. Um, data server is basically running now. So next week we'll do... What are we going to do next week? Maybe we'll integrate the bot itself next week and make it reuse the data stuff. But let's see how it goes. Yeah, so thanks all for watching and I'm gonna be on tomorrow again and we'll do some emulator stuff. So see you all tomorrow. Bye.